We're going to make a few videos to show you around some great spots in Fukushima. Today we're at Minkaen in Fukushima City. Here at Minkaen, they have relocated many traditional houses from around northern Fukushima. And here in the natural surroundings, you can see as they were. Some of these houses date back to the early 1700s. Fukushima City Minkaen recreates the surrounding of the northern area of Fukushima Prefecture that existed from the mid Edo to Meiji era, around 1700s to 1912. The park is about 110,000 square meters wide and landscaped with traditional structures, gardens and fields from that time. The centerpieces of the park's architectural works are private homes that were relocated from the northern area. There are also a theatre from Yanagawa village, which is now Date City, an inn, a restaurant and storehouses from Fukushima City, and a private house from the Aizu area. The first structure that you'll see is a former granary that belonged to the Sakuma family. It was built in the later stages of the 19th century. This wooden granary has only one story with a roof made of chestnut shingles. It may have been built in the later half of the 19th century. A large scale granary of this type is rare in this city. Usually this type of granary is called an itakura. It is sometimes called a kokugura and it is mainly used for storing rice seeds. This house is the former residence of the Ono family. It was constructed in around 1874. And the entire house was used for growing silkworms. So you can come here and check out all the old implements that they used for silkworm farming. The Ono family raised silkworms up until the end of World War II in the northern reaches of Fukushima Prefecture, where the local silkworm business first got started. Every room on the first floor had a hearth to keep the room warm during the culturing season. And the lean-to on the eastern end of the main house was used to reel silk from the cocoons. As was common among silkworm breeders, the home had a hipped gable roof for bringing in light. And the attic and second floor were used as cocooneries. It looks very much like a factory, with the family living amongst the silkworms. The shed on the bank in front of the home houses a rice huller that is driven by water from the stream. Both the trough for collecting water and pestle were carved from solid wood, while rocks are placed on the pestle as counterbalance. This former inn belonged to the Kakei family and was built around 1870 in a major intersection in Fukushima City. The ground floors were used as a shop and living area for the family, where upstairs there are rooms for travellers to be rented out on their way through. This inn originally stood at the junction of the Aizu Kaido Road and Yonezawa Kaido Road and operated successfully until 1926. But the business was shut down as the number of overnight guests decreased after the Bansei Tairo Road opened and the All Main Line and Banetsu West Line started providing railway service. The main house was built around early to mid 1800s and later expanded in the late 1870s to open as an inn. The two innermost rooms on the first floor served as the family's living quarters, while the mezzanine and second floor functioned as lodging. The practice of opening up one's home to travellers was a time-honoured tradition in this part of Japan but there were no other inns operating in the region at the time that had a key-shaped floor plan. This is Kakujiken, a former inn and restaurant. It was built in Fukushima City in the late 1800s. Kakujiken was one of the few restaurant inns in Fukushima from the mid to late 19th century and is known as the location of several historically important events in the local area. For one, in 1868, it was where Shuzo Sera, a staff officer in the expeditory force of Or Province, 
was held after an attack by the Sendai clan, just before being put to death by the Abukuma River. Then, in 1878, the building was used as a polling station for town council elections. When ownership changed hands in the late 19th century, the restaurant inn was renamed Koyokan and converted into a boarding house by Hironaka Kono. Before being dismantled, there were four buildings around a central garden, but only the east and north buildings that comprised the original compound were restored. Architecturally, the building employs only thin structural members assembled in a simplified style used with townhouses of the day, known as Tsukiyazukuri. The former Hirosese Theatre was constructed in 1887 and used as a playhouse and theatre. Even today, you can see kabuki and traditional performances performed here. This theatre originally stood on the banks of the Hirose River that runs through what was once Yanagawa Machi, which is now part of Date City. It was later remodelled into a movie theatre, but the building in the park was restored to its days as a playhouse. The foundation marker bears the date March 17, 1887, so construction is assumed to have begun in 1887. On the first floor, the entrance opens into the audience seats, then the stage and dressing rooms in that order, while the second floor features balcony seating on three sides above the boxes below. The stage is of a typical design for Japanese performances of the day, with a turntable at the centre and operating mechanism under the floor, an elevated passageway to the dressing rooms for actors, downstage trestles and a musician's box built off the main pillar upstage. Originally, the actor's entrance exit was located under the floor of the current passageway, but it is said to have been remodeled to the present configuration shortly after the theater was built. On the outside, theater has exposed columns, a shingled roof, and slatted and latticed windows to bring light inside. Though architecturally simple, the theatre is one of the oldest surviving entertainment facilities in the Tohoku region and a valuable cultural property as a Meiji-era playhouse built in an Edo-era style. This is the former house of the Abe family. It's a typical farmhouse that was built in the late 18th century. This typical farmhouse was built halfway up a hill, but because the property was narrow in the east-west direction, the house was smaller than similar homes of the time. In fact, the centre room and garden were half the normal size. The centre room had an earthen floor instead of wood flooring, but the hearth at the centre served as the focal point of daily activities. By comparison, the former Kanno home which is similarly a typical farmhouse, but older than the Abe family home, has wood flooring in the center room. In the Abe family home, rudimental mats were used as floor covering up to the repository, which doubled as a bedroom, while the room with wood flooring was used to entertain guests. The repository was open to the center room, and with the exception of the back wall and innermost room, the side walls were plastered, which was the practice long ago. The former house of the Watanabe family was constructed in the early 19th century. This farmhouse belonged to a village leader. What makes it special in the northern part of Fukushima Prefecture is that it is the only home with an almost two meter wide porch that functioned as a passageway between rooms. Another feature is the open wall under the eaves on the front end of the earthen floor room. The repository is thought to have doubled as a parlor for entertaining important guests because it has an alcove. Given the small amount of space in the earthen room floor, 
it is likely that horses and other animals were kept in a separate building. The toilet and bath were also detached from the main house and always had a clay pot on hand for collecting wash water and excrement for use as fertilizer. The home also had its own well where water was hoisted up with a bucket and pulley. This farmhouse belonged to the Narawa family and was constructed in the mid 18th century. Compared to typical farmhouses in the northern part of Fukushima Prefecture, the innermost room in this house is somewhat bigger and the earthen floor room is almost two meters longer. So given the size of the house, it is thought to have been the home of a village leader. Though special because of the spacious garden and a front room that does not differentiate between front and rear, the home is a traditional structure that is closed on the sides and back. The garden doubled as a workplace, the repository as a bedroom and the front room as a reception area for entertaining guests. The room off the garden had wood flooring and was known as an okami. The home of a village leader would have had a gate on the walkway up to the house and a fence encompassing the property. Given the size of the original storehouse and barn, the gate to the Narawa family home is thought to have been part of a long roofed building that would have served various purposes. This smaller farmhouse was built by the Kanno family in the late 18th century. This typical farmhouse was a tad bit smaller than the average farmhouse in those days. It consists of three rooms in a centre room, repository and inner room that served respectively as a living room, bedroom and reception area for entertaining guests and an earthen floor room. It follows an old architectural style of a spacious earthen floor room, plastered walls on all sides except for the front and a solid wall to divide the repository and inner room. Unlike the former Abe family home that was built later, the centre room had wood flooring, which shows that flooring was already a common practice in living areas in farmhouses in the northern reaches of Fukushima Prefecture. Outside the home are a tool shed and well. The well employed a sweep composed of a pole and counterbalance for raising and lowering the bucket. This farmhouse was built in 1808 in the southwestern part of Fukushima, where they experienced large amounts of snow. It was owned by the Baba family. This farmhouse belonged to an upper class family and was built in 1808 in Nangomura village in Minami Aizu County, a part of Fukushima prefecture which experiences exceptional snowfall. The construction style of this house is known as Umaya Chumon Zukuri and is characterized by a distinctive L-shaped structure that sticks out called the Chumon or the middle gate. Through this gate the family members were able to go to the bathroom and tend horses that were kept under the same roof without having to leave the house. This unique style of construction was a result of the farmer's wisdom and inventiveness in making living and caring for the horses easier in the harsh climate of winter. Thank you for coming and having a look around Minkain today. We hope you can come and visit us when you visit Fukushima. See you then.